how can I make my Canva designs look better has to be the number one question I get asked as a pro designer. And in this series, I'm going to take one design that's been sent to me by one of my clients or has been submitted to me because part of the reason why I do these tutorials and I'm doing the Canva training, what ends up taking over the training is not the Canva tips, but it's essentially how can I design better series is going to be showing you really effective tips that I do every day as a designer, how I am assembling the information, how I want that information to come across. I hope you enjoy this new series and let's get started. I'm going to take a design that one of my clients has created. They have their branding all in place, they know what colours they should be using in their fonts, but the thing that trips them up the most is when they're creating something and they feel the graphic doesn't quite look right, I'll often send it across to myself and say, Julie, what tips can you offer me? What can I do to make my design look better? And this is what I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process of the tweaks I make when my clients send me this kind of stuff. Elaine is a parenting coach and and this post is for social media to advertise anti-bullying week. I want to talk you through some of the things that are good about this post and some of the things that I would you do to improve it and just make it a bit more easier and quick to understand. At the moment, design looks fine, it's perfectly acceptable, there's nothing overly wrong with it, but this is the kind of things I would suggest as a designer that would make this go from an okay graphic to a really impactful great graphic and at the moment here everything is centered and what happens and this is almost like a safety zone when you just center everything everything's in alignment and it'll all look okay but what happens when everything's centered is nothing stands out so right at the moment we've got anti-bullying week which is fine it's a tip my biggest problem here is this this text here it is very busy it's encroaching with the line here there's not much space between the logo and the text above it it feels cramped and busy but because this is going over five lines of text immediately my brain's going that's too that's too taxing to read I'm not going to read any of it it's just a blur of words have one word sitting on a line in its own, we call that a widow, and it looks a bit untidy with graphic design. You don't really ever want to have just one word left on a line. And also the text, because there's no hierarchy to it, it's just all blending into one another. This image, it's a great image, but the cutout is a bit patchy, but we're cut off with the elbow at the edge. So immediately it looks like a cut and paste or a bit of clip art. So we want to change up this image. I don't necessarily want to change the image but I'm just going to show you how we can work with what we've got but make it look better. Just move this text out of the way. I'm going to delete this line and this line here I feel is a bit heavy. Sometimes I notice people have a tendency to want to have a really thick line whereas I find that really thin fine lines of just one or two points works much better. I'm going to start off by putting this image in the corner and I'm going to enlarge it up much bigger in size because this is such a powerful image. We want it to have much more impact in the graphic and it to be the first thing you see when you are looking at it. Before we even read the information, the words stop bullying on hands mean that you immediately know what this is about. I'm then going to left align my text. I'm going to copy it and I'm just going to keep the first sentence and delete it from the paragraph below. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a little bit of hierarchy to this paragraph of text just so it's a bit easier to read. And I'm going to do this by using the same font family but using different weights of that font and that's what helps give us this hierarchy. I'm going to make this the extra bold. So already you can see it's standing out from the text here and I'm going to lighten this text up. So I'm going to make this the light text and I'm also going to change the colour of this text. I'm going to make this text black and this is so it starts to stand out from the title of the graphic. I'm going to bring this down and also left align it so that we keep it nice and easy to the eye. It's just flowing nicely in a line down the side. Turn so that we can get the text moving along the frame of the image. 
and then I'm just going to reduce the logo ever so slightly. Immediately you can see I haven't really changed much with this design. I haven't taken anything out, I haven't switched anything over. All I've really done is change the layout of the design and the hierarchy of information. So now your eye very clearly reads anti-bullying week is bullying in your family because even if you just read that first line is bullying in your family if it is you're then going to read on the rest of that paragraph but if it's not you're going to just scroll on by but you've still taken in in essence some part of the information that i've wanted to communicate rather than if you go back to the original design which is here you can see that it's much harder for you to distinguish between the information. Your brain literally just sees this as a big blob of text and it doesn't really distinguish between what that text is. If I flick back to what it's changed to, you can really see how that image is much more impactful now and the text is much easier to read. If you want to see more of this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. In the comments, you will find a link to my waitlist for my new community, Design Like a Pro Club. You will get access to me once a week in a live Zoom call and you can submit your designs that you would love to get my feedback on. You can listen in as I give advice to the other community members inside there too. And really, this is the most effective way if you are having to be inside Canva week in, week out, that you can really upskill and uplevel and make your designs look much more professional. At the same time, every single week, I will be going live and feedback in real time and work through any issues you're having or any challenges you're having with the current work that you have on. It is launching end of September. You'll name the waitlist if you want to get access to my special launch offer.